Hey guys, what's up YouTube? Today's gonna be a little bit of a boring video, or maybe fun for you guys, I don't know. It's gonna be a tier list video, where I'm gonna talk about some of the decks that I think are in contention to be played in this format, what I think is decent, and where I think they rank moving into Arlington and the rest of this Silver Tempest format. Now, we have no idea when rotation's gonna happen. I'm assuming it's gonna happen when Scarlet and Violet drops, which is like... February, probably, like fe like mid-February, like late February, I don't know, one of those like time periods. But so that means we've got two and a half more months of this set, and Crown Zenith will be introduced down the line. So let's look at some of the decks and where I think they place. And these are like the decks that I think I would play in a tournament, or I think like I expect to face in a tournament. Sure, there are other decks that like fall into the other category or stuff that you could hit, um, but I think these are what I would expect to face given um, how the last couple of weeks have gone, and this is where I kind of would put my marbles. So Lugia Archaeops is immediately the S tier, like S tier, tier zero deck in this format, in my opinion. I think Lugia Archaeops is the deck to beat. A lot of decks have been gunning for it. We saw that last weekend at all of the regionals, where a lot of decks were very clearly teching for Lugia Archaeops, very clearly um, trying to figure out what beats it. And when they couldn't figure out a great answer, um, they resorted to something else. But some of them did with the paralysis, with the control, all that stuff. And that's where Espeon VMAX came into clutch. And so now Lugia has a counter to the counters, but how does Lugia's counters deal with the counter to the counter if that makes any sense so lugia's s tier it's going to be interesting to see where the next evolution of this deck will go um, i'm going to put lost zone box in a tier because i think lost zone box while it's still very very good is not tier s because of lugia playing stoutland i think lugia playing stoutland and now playing the espion or the bird keeper can really put a damper in lost zone box's day and i think lost zone box also struggles very heavily on time especially if you lose game one so that's why I put Lost in Box in tier A, as opposed to like S. Um, that's also where I'm going to put Mew Genesect, because I think Mew Genesect, while it's really good, it's now resorting to the Judge Path or Marnie Path strategy that Arceus had to employ to deal with Palkia when Palkia came into the format, right? Like Palkia came into the format and became that big dominant threat out of nowhere for a couple of months. And during that time, Arceus had to go into this Marnie Path strategy to even hold up to it. And I think that's what Mew is doing right now to hold up to Lugia because, yes, you're still a very high-powered deck. And, yes, you can deal with a lot of decks in the format. But if you can't deal with Lugia, then you're not winning games. So that's where it kind of falls into. I want to put Reggie's in Tier C because I think while Reggie's has had a lot of hype around it, I think one or two might have done decently this weekend. I still think it's getting collateral by Collapse, getting collateral by these heavy judges, these Mornies, all this kind of stuff. I don't think it's got a great, uh, like, Lost Box matchup with Double Mana Fee. I don't think it's got a great... Uh, matchup into Mew. Or no, I think, sorry, it has a great matchup into Mew. I don't think it has a great Lugia Archaeops matchup either if they play Dunsparce. Um, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with Reggie's and its, it's clunky consistency at the current moment and how it's got to be built. Um, I'm going to put Giratina Lost Box in B for the same reasons I put Lost Box in A, but you just have more setup pieces. So, like with Giratina, you have to put two Giratinas out on the same turn. And if you don't, you're really in a lot of trouble against decks like Lugia because they can just hunt down one at a time and just take them out, even if you have Thornton combos. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Lugia is not necessarily the best matchup because of Temple of Sinnoh. It doesn't even do enough. Uh, and Mew, I don't think, is necessarily the best either unless you play a copy of Drapion, which I think Giratina is one where you expect a Drapion as opposed to Lost Zone Box, so it can happen. I'm going to go ahead and put Arc Duraludon in B tier as well, just because even though Arc Duraludon did get second this past weekend at Regionals, it is still one of those decks that you need to find all the pieces for. Like, you need to have that. you got to have that start. you got to be him. And if you're not him... Well, sometimes your start's going to be bad, your opening's going to be bad, and all of a sudden you can still lose to favorable matchups like Lugia, uh, to Mew, uh, to Lost Zone. Like, you can lose these matchups that you should win. So, I'm going to go ahead and put Palkia and Talion in C tier, because even though I think Palkia and Talion had good finishes this past weekend with the Articuno combination, I think straight Articuno might just be better. Um, I do think uh, the deck itself is very strong, but I think... It, it, like, it just folds to Lost Box pretty aggressively, I think. And I think some of the other matchups are a little bit sketchy as well. I think Control is not the best either for you. And I think you, you have some trouble against Mew as well. I'm going to go ahead and put Vika Volt Reggie Aleki in D tier. It's probably one of the only decks I'm going to put down here because I think, yes, it has a lot of potential to lock your opponents out of the game. You can beat Lost Box, you can beat Mew, you can beat Lugia. But every turn gets a turn, every deck, sorry, gets a turn of items. And that's something that cannot be understated. You can't just completely lock someone out of the game like you used to be able to with this kind of a deck. But it's like an incomplete lock where you're playing all these pieces that clunk up your own deck and you need to find the Melanie and the Forest Seal Stone and all these. Like, it's it's so much work to item lock. Like, item lock used to be so good because you can just go Toad, DTE, DCE, Choice Belt, or not Choice Belt, Muscle Belt, um, Fighting Fury Belt, like, whatever, you know, just, just do some damage, get some health. Like, all you needed was one card to get the lock and now you need so much more. 
Kyra and Palkia, I think, also goes in D tier. Actually, I completely troll him uh, because I think this deck, while it's got a very high power level, I don't think that it holds up necessarily to the rest of the format. Still, I think Lugia matchup is still pretty sus unless you play heavy copies of Wash Energy. I think Lost Zone is probably a fine matchup, actually. I think Mew is not necessarily your best either. You have to have your Kyurem kind of do a lot of work. I think Giratina is still sketchy, but you play, if you're playing more Wash Energies, maybe it's fine. Arcadura is probably fine. Palkia Antelion is fine. Regis is fine, and Vika is fine, but like you've got some sus matchups up here, and that's really where I think um, the problem comes in, and that's kind of where I don't like this deck specifically. Um, I do think the linearity could maybe put it up to the top still, but I think if you're playing a linear deck that just kind of is a powerhouse, I don't know why you just wouldn't play Lugia again. Galar Weezing also goes into D tier because I think I put it in here because I saw a couple of players were kind of high on it this past weekend, and I think the deck has been picking up some steam, and I do like how it plays where you do literally nothing and win games because Galarian Weezing just completely stops your opponents from using abilities, and pretty much every deck in this box here uses abilities to function, whether it be the Italian engine, whether it be the Lost Zone box engine, whether it be Reggie's ability, um, whether it be Lugia to get the Archaeops up, and even if you have the Archaeops up, to use the ability to get it out. So if you play like a quad Weezing deck and just don't do anything, you could just win games on the back of that. But however, 40 damage in between turns is not the most, and so that's kind of where the problem for this deck comes in. And I think you can exploit that if your deck has any way of accelerating a little more energy, doing a little more damage, um, powering up one big attacker, and all of a sudden you're just swinging. So Mewtwo Miltank, we did see win a tournament this past weekend. B2 V Union, uh, you, like control style, get it to the point, use your Miltanks, use those Yvatals, use the Snorlaxes, draw a bunch of cards. I'm going to put it in A tier because I think control, like this version of control, has proven that it can beat a lot of the top decks. It absolutely destroys Lugia. It absolutely gives Mew a problem. It bodies Lost Box. I think Piper looked very comfortable beating all of those. It beat the RCS Duraludon deck very comfortably. Giratina is probably not your best matchup, but you know, who cares? Reggie's probably super easy. Palkia and Talion, probably super easy. I mean, like, it, these matchups just feel so free with this kind of a deck, and that's why I put it up here. I'm going to put Yvatal Control in B tier, because while it is still a very, very strong deck, I think you have a little bit of a worse matchup in a stuff like Lost Box, because you don't have that Mewtwo V Union to kind of wrap up the back end. Um, yes, you might have an Ice Q and Wash Energy or whatever to kind of get that damage in, but I think you need to have some sort of contingency plan in case your opponent has some sort of answer to control, like Espeon VMAX, for example, in the uh, Lugia lists. In, in Lost Zone, just them playing, um, them being able to attack with Sableye over and over and over again. Uh, I don't know. So here's my tier list. So if you're heading to Arlington or San Diego or Liverpool, this is kind of where my tier list lies. I hope you guys enjoy this tier list. And let me know in the comments below if you agree, disagree, or whatever. And then like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. So thank you so much. Peace out, guys.